Blanc from MWC 2025. I'm here together with Franz Blomerstein, CCO at Mware TV. Hello, Franz. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you, Hakim, again. MWC 2025. What are you showcasing here in Barcelona? Well, um, first I would like to start with uh, what we did last year because that's the basic of what we are doing right now. So the evolution. Um, it's correct. And we started in our TV management system, which is our back-end system, with a new module called the No-Code App Builder. Uh -huh. And the No-Code App Builder is, is one of the basic points of our, and exclusive points of our uh, TV management system. It gives you the possibility to create in a very simple and effective way your own user interface yeah. as an operator. You don't need to have technical knowledge, you don't need to have programming knowledge, you can really start building your own white label solution with logo, with colors, uh, buttons, everything you want to have. So that was the starting point. And of course, this is the year of AI. Yeah. Everybody says, oh, what is AI going to bring? Yeah. And we have been thinking about that already last year and we said, what can AI bring us, but especially yeah. our operators yeah. and also the subscribers of the yeah. operators? So the, uh, the first thing that we started is uh, what we call the AI Assistant. So in our TV management system, uh, there is uh, a link with a, a huge manual. Yeah. How does our system work? And what we did is we created that AI Assistant that helps you to understand our system, how it works. Yeah. Uh, like, um, how can I add a TV channel? Uh, and then it pops up with exp uh, the explanation how that works with the link to the typical part of the manual. So that's the first thing that we did. So it supports your no-code app builder technique. Absolutely. And uh, the second thing is, the second layer of AI, we call it the navigator. Then it's linked not only to the manual, but also to the database. Yeah. So if you want to know as an operator, how many people have been watching this movie yesterday in, in a particular area in Frankfurt or yeah. in, in Barcelona, you get an answer of that AI navigator, exactly this number that is what you would like to have. It helps you yeah. to understand how much you have to pay to your content providers and what movie maybe you have to put in a better position in the user yeah. interface. That's, that's the second one. Yeah. The third one is what we call the, uh, the agent, the AI agent. I'm sorry, that's a little no, bit complicated. No, no, no. The AI agent. And the AI agent helps you, again, with the app builder that is already in the system. You can say as, as, a, uh, as a person, I want to have a, a red kind of user interface, look like an Apple design, and I want to create it for Mother's Day. Yeah. Because next week it's Mother's Day, and at that moment you get a completely uh, designed user interface with our app builder yeah. designed by the AI agent. That gives you even more flexibility to create every week maybe a new user interface for yeah. your users to create more interactivity. Mm -hmm. And the last part, that is what we call the, uh, uh, the professor. Yeah. And that, that, that part of the AI will give you the possibilities to um, see trends. Mm -hmm. I want to know what, uh, what, why the churn in a particular um, city is higher than in the rest of my country. Mm -hmm. What is the reason for that? Yeah. And please give me already some answers, some solutions that we can introduce mm -hmm. to make the service better. Yeah. So that's for the operator. That means that the less engineering costs yeah more interactivity with your clients, churn will go lower, so your cost of the service will decrease. Yeah. That's one thing. The user is going to benefit from AI because you uh, are going to say, I want to see every sport event related to cricket. Yeah. And then our AI agent is looking in the EPG data, where is cricket? Where can I see cricket? Yeah. And comes up with a reel in the user interface these are all the cricket shows that you can have for the next week. Yeah. That kind of things gives you interactivity and makes your, you as an operator better with your client. So that's for us a very important thing for this year. The first two steps we already did and we are working on step three or four. That's very interesting. So it's kind of a 
huge impact AI made into your existing system. I mean, you Absolutely. started with the no-code app builder, yep. and now you develop the next generation where you say, okay, look, we can make it even more efficient, more, let's say, user-friendly from an operator perspective, where it also then ends up to pay out for the end user. Correct. Uh, a lot of um, middleware companies, if they want to create an app, you need engineering power. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of work that needs to be done. With an app, no-code yeah. app build, it's yeah. not necessary. Yeah. That means, and you know, all the, the telcos, they would like to save costs. Yeah. So they, they get a consultant, McKinsey yeah. comes in, yeah. and they say the first thing McKinsey says, 20% cost reduction. So you have five departments, every department 20% cost reduction. With our tool, yeah. you can save engineering costs, yeah. so you already have that. Yeah. So you, you, you achieved your goals already. So the cost structure of an operator will go down. That's important, but it's also important, especially to create more interactivity yeah. with your subscriber. Yeah. Interactivity with your subscriber lowers your churn, lesser support in the call centers, that kind of things. That's what we are working on for mm -hmm. our operators. Okay, that's, that's very interesting. So on one side, you created something scalable. That was yeah. always your idea. But now you're also equipped with the latest technology. Correct. So if I'm, let's say, I would like to start my own streaming service, I would like to have my own streaming offering, I go with you and have the benefit as well that I have an AI included for my end user actually at no code experience. Correct. And, and what we've noticed even more with the operators, everybody is struggling with what you said, scalability. And um, uh, everybody knows what we call the six hour event. Yeah. You come home and you turn on the TV and you log in into the TV. And then the problem starts with some operators yeah. because you get, you get so many uh, requests per second that will give you a problem. You get buffering and all that kind of things. Yeah. We, we, we made a tool, a scalable. We have done tests with about 1 million login um, possibilities per second. So we never have that problem. That's yeah. also one of the things we did last quarter to improve that for the scalability, which is getting more and more uh, important, especially for the big guys. Mm. So a future brewing system. I believe so. Very interesting. Yeah. Thanks for your time. It was Thank very you. insightful. Thank, Thank you. Joachim. There was Tech Africa News from MWC 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.